Hello. I feel like I'm sitting so far away, but I don't know what I could do. To Actually, I do now. One second. Okay, that's better. Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. As you guys know, I am in the process of applying to medical school, and while I am doing all that, and I will talk about that whole thing much, much later. I finished taking the MCAT, so now I have a little bit of more free time, and I've been reading like crazy, hence the books and stuff behind me. I finally got some bookshelves and like cubbies and stuff to put my books in, and I thought it would be cool to do a video of the books that got me back into reading. So a little bit of background. I made a list, so don't get off track. The books that got me back into reading. So first I made a list of, oh, let me tell you a story time. That's what I was going to do. So I started reading when I was like, you know, in middle school, elementary school. I feel like I really got into reading when you had to do those um, like reading goal assessment things. And if you read a certain amount of books and you got like a prize and me being competitive, I had to get the prize that I wanted. I had to win. I remember like there was like a limo ride that you could get to like a pizza. I think it was literally like pizza in. So I always wanted to do that. I'd read up all these books and I ended up really enjoying reading. When I went to middle school, I went to a private school and the reading requirements there were a little bit different, but you had to bring in books to read every single day, like during quiet time or whatever. So I got into reading and then when I got into high school, I stopped reading. But then I picked it back up my sophomore year of college. And I will show you the books that I read before versus the books that got me back into reading. First up on the list, we have... These are the very... This is like the very first book I probably ever picked up and like binge read the series. They are called... Oh my gosh. There's so many of them. They are called the Canterwood Crest series. Now, if you guys ask me what these are about now, I literally could not tell you but this was my first series that I ever binge read and I don't know I just loved it I loved it I remember some of the characters like basically it's about let's read what the first one's about when Sasha Silver and her horse Charm arrive on the campus of Elite Canterwood Crest Academy and when Sasha shows her skills in the arena the girl's claws come out Sasha is determined to prove that she belongs at Canterwood. Will she rise to the equation? Equation? Will she rise to the occasion and make the advanced writing team by the end of her first semester? Or will the pressure send Sasha packing? I don't know why that caught, however, 12 year old, 11 year old, I don't know, Erica's attention. But I am a sucker for romance, and I remember these books have love triangles out the wazoo. So that's probably why I loved it so much. And I was obsessed with boarding school and horses for some odd reason. So this is the first set of books that I've read that I loved before high school. Mm. <sighs> Next we have, I don't know what you call these. I guess they're like Septimus Heap series. I have no idea, but these books, I don't even know if they're in the right order. Let's see. I don't know. I have no idea what these are about. Oh, it, yeah, this is the correct order this way. Let's read the back to see why I liked it. Septimus Heap, the seventh son of the seventh son, disappears the night he is born, pronounced dead by the midwife. That same night, the baby's father, Silas Heap, comes across an abandoned child in the snow, a newborn girl with five eyes. The Heap take her into their home, name her Jenna, and raise her as their own. But who is this mysterious baby girl and what really happened to their beloved son, Septimus? Okay, I feel like I remember a little bit of this, but not much. And here's what I do remember. At my private school, I wasn't allowed to read magic books, so that's probably why. I like fantasy or anything like that. That's probably why I really like, <laughs> like these because, you know, I, I feel like if you tell a kid not to do something, they're going to do it, so... Anyways, I wouldn't mind reading these again to see what I like thought about it. Maybe I'll do a video about that, but I don't know. That that the back of this book kind of entranced me. Is that the right word? It it captivated my attention. Anyways, so this is the second series or books of series that I remember reading. Okay, what's next? Oh, these are fan favorites. Next up, 
everybody's favorite show, everybody's favorite time right now. This summer I turned pretty. This is self-explanatory. If you are living under a rock, then you don't know what this series is. But if you are up with the current times, you know that the show, The Summer I Turned Pretty, I think the episode, the newest episode just came out. I haven't watched it yet. But it's about a girl named Belly. She spends every summer with her, like, second family, I guess, in Cousins Beach, Conrad and Jeremiah Fisher, Love Triangle. You know the works. You know the works. Like, I feel like I don't even need to give an explanation on why I love these books. I will say, though, that Jenny Han is one of my favorite authors, and I wish... I pray, I hope she writes another book because I miss her writing. I don't know, I just really enjoy it. It, it takes me back to my middle school era, so. Next. I already know what this one is and so do you guys. To all the boys I've loved before. Now listen, if I had to pick one series to read from middle school for the rest of my life, it would be this one. I am obsessed with To All the Boys I've Ever Loved Before. I'm obsessed with the movie. I'm obsessed with the books. I really love the first movie. I just rewatched it the other day. I love it so much with all my heart. Like, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. The reason why I liked this book in middle school, or what, um, I'm pretty sure it's around middle school when I read it, is because Laura Jean, I feel like, is me. You know what I'm saying? Like. I was shy, I was awkward, I kept my feelings inward. Did I write notes? No. Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But I just feel like I saw so much of myself in her. And in the books, I was obsessed with the fact that she went to UNC Chapel Hill. In the show, it's a little bit different. I don't know. I just, I, I felt like we were one and the same. And Peter Kaminsky, do I even need to say more? Like, If you have not read the series and you are in middle school, you're in high school, you're in college, if you're watching the show right now and you don't want to read the books, please read the books. Okay. Oh, it's not a show. The movies. Please read the books. Okay. I, I love them. I love them. It just, it brings out your inner child. Okay. That's all for this one. And then lastly, this is the last set of books I remember reading before I took my book hiatus. And it is... The Crazy Rich Asian series. Why did I like this? Because these people were freaking awesome. They had money out the wazoo. The love story was in captivating. I love the movie too. Like I remember reading these books and being like, I need to find me a him. I can't even remember what his name is. What does that say about me? Nicholas Young. How could I forget? I felt like I should have been Rachel. You know what I'm saying? Like I love this book. I love the concept behind it. I love, I just loved it as a middle schooler and I still, I like it now. That is, did I show these? I think I did. That is the end. That was a little bit sticky. Hold on, let me get some. Why are my books sticky? So those were all the books that I read before I went on like my book hiatus for literally years. Now we are going to the books that got me back into reading. Now this next series, I'm going to warn you. It is my, I have love for this book. One, because it got me back into reading. Two, I love the books. I love the books. Hear me out, I love the books. I'm gonna defend them with all my might, so you guys can come for me if you want. <laughs> the After Series. Now, let's talk about it. I was a sophomore in college and I, I saw, okay, this is what got me. I am obsessed with the first movie. I love the first movie with all my heart so much that I ran to the store and bought the book. Now the rest of the movies, do they do the book justice? No. Do they leave out huge plot twists and points of the book? Yes. And that is why I don't like the rest of the movies. Do I still watch them? Yes. Will I still support my boy hero? Always! <laughs> Can I help you? Okay. No, I'm gonna pack after this. Good night. Anyways, after, my sister's gonna be in the shower, so just pretend like you can't hear that. I was obsessed with the, the first movie so much that I went and got the book. Now, I will say the books are, there's something, okay? There's something, like, I love Harden. Would I personally get me a Harden? No. Okay, so when, when I say I love these books, don't think that I'm saying I love Harden. I do love Harden, but like, not in a romantic way. The boy needs help. I love Hero though. But the boy, this boy needs help. But the books are so much better. The books are so much better than the movie. If I could recommend 
a series. This is probably my favorite series ever. That's a bold statement. But this, I love it so much. Like, y'all don't even know how much they left out. Y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know how much they left out, okay? Like, the books hold a special place in my heart. I was reading this. I was back at college for finals. I, I started on, like, a, I think, over Thanksgiving break, fall break, something like that. I was reading them during, during the week before finals. The week of finals. I was reading them. I was up all night. You, uh, one of my friends was like, Erica, you have got to pay attention to class. I was like, I can't. I was reading them in the club. <laughs> back when I went to clubs but like read them I love this series I love Harden I love Tessa their romance is crazy and toxic but it is so good to read and they're not real so that's what makes it even better okay all right they're real to me though I love this series this is what got me back into reading to be completely honest with you guys because I was like what what did they put in here the next thing that I remember reading is everyone's favorite fall series twilight listen i want you to imagine this it's the pandemic it's 2020 you're home on what you think is a spring break and you just got the email that it's an extended two-week break so you're thinking oh my gosh i don't have any work to do let me pick up a book i remember sitting on my couch downstairs under the window feeling like rory gilmore feeling like a main character okay i'm reading these books i'm eating it up something something that i am a little bit embarrassed by is i'm team jacob not for bella but for me not for bella but for me team edward for bella obviously but like why i've never liked the fact that like she had to do so much to prove her love for edward like the man should have just realized that she loved him and and like never ran away from her anyways i love twilight you guys know what twilight's about i if I could, I would reread it every fall. Maybe I'll reread it this fall, but it's kind of thick. Thickums. I don't even, look, I have a bookmark in Breaking Dawn. I don't even think I finished that one all the way. So, but anyways, I, I did love this series very, very much. I think just with, like, the setting and not really having anything to do, and it just, it just created the right environment. So this series also got me back into reading. Next. Oh my gosh. We have the selection. Okay. I feel like all of the reader girls that I have come into contact with have read this series. And it wasn't my favorite. Like the first, I'll say the first two I think were really good. But when it started getting into like other storylines and other plots, I was, I was, I was caught off guard. Okay. I was, I was ready to keep reading about America and Max. That's his name, right? Maxon yeah i was ready to keep reading about them and i was like what the freak time jump <laughs> let me not let me not say too much else but see i didn't even make it through this one all the way let me tell you if i get bored or when i did get bored i would not fin like force myself to finish a book but i like this one because i had never i think this was like my first like is it dystopian I'm pretty sure it is. It was my first dystopian like series and I was just so, maybe it's not dystopian. It felt like, I don't know, but it was just something that I've never read before, something that I didn't experience before and I loved reading about like a bachelor-esque type of book and it just, I don't know, America to me was like the first female character that I read about that was independent and strong on her own. A lot of female characters sometimes I feel like can either be like overly dependent on the guy like off the bat or like already had come in with like emotional damage which she, I guess it's not really fair to say because she had someone else but you know I don't know I just really liked America and maybe it's because her name's America my name's Erica but anyways I love this series and this helped me get back into reading. Okay the last one and this is controversial but the last one is i'm pretty sure it was this one and i think this is the only one ugly love by colleen hoover this is like the last book that i read before i started going to full mode like books every day all day long vibes i love this book one i love the cover i thought the cover was so like once you if you haven't read this book once you get through it like it's just all of her i don't want this to be a spoiler so skip if you don't want to hear this but all of her covers mean something and once you put those pieces together it 
breaks your heart. This was the first book that I had where I literally had to, I stared at the wall, I cried, I had to process it. And I love that feeling. Now, ah, some of her books kind of make me upset, like November 9th. I'm a November 9th hater. I know. I know. It's, it's rare, I guess. I don't know. I just didn't love it. I didn't love the concept. But this right here, this just, it ignited me to read all of these books. Well, not all of them because I still have. Verity. I'm scared to read that one. But anyways, it just ignited this flame in me to keep reading. And I appreciate this book. So I appreciate all of these books. Let's do a recap. We have the After Series, Twilight, The Selection, and then Colleen Hoover, it, Ugly Love. All of these books inspire me to keep reading. They inspire me to find new books that I love. I'm still reading to this day. I'll show you the books that I'm reading right now. I'm about halfway through Crooked Kingdom. This is one that's taking me a long time to get through. I just feel like I read Six of Crows really fast to get to this one. So I'm kind of like tired a little bit. So as a palate clean, clean, as a palate cleanser, I'm reading What Happens After Midnight. I'm halfway through it. I started it last night. It's, actually, I'm a little bit over halfway. It's, I like it. It's cute, you know, it's cutesies. But these, the books before those really inspired me to keep reading. I found a lot of five star reads after them. I'll tell you which ones on those lists are five stars, but I'm gonna save my five star reads for another video. Anyways, the after series is five stars. I'm telling you guys, the books are so much better than the movies. So if you even remotely like the movies, give the book a shot. To all the boys of love, <laughs> to all the boys of love before, those are five stars. Yeah. And those are all the books. Those are the only two books from those that made it that are part of my five star reads. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope that if you haven't read any of the books that I went over today that maybe you'll s stop by, pick them up, give them a little read, look them up, see if you like them. I really enjoyed all of them. Do not judge me for my middle school reads, okay? I literally don't remember what any of those books are about. I kind of want to maybe reread them one day and just see where middle school Erica's brain was and what she was thinking. I also did this video because I feel like I, as we continue on my channel, I feel like I'll be showing more and more clips of me like reading because I am not really doing that much right now. And I love reading and I wanted to prove to you guys that, you know, it's just not a spur of the moment thing. I've been, I've been reading. I've been reading my whole life, not really, but for a long time. And yeah, so hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.